has there any followers are hiding in this area? Where are they? Jesus told us that this wine was his blood. <laughs> This bread, his body. We eat and drink them now to give us the strength to bear witness to him and to live in unity with him. Spirit tells me I must go to Samaria. The word needs to be heard everywhere. I don't think it'll be any better in Samaria, Philip. If they discover you from Jerusalem, they tear you apart. I'm sure there's some good Samaritans. I'll find them. Break it down! Search everywhere. To God and the temple, not your Jesus. Take him away. For every five people you talk to, they'll talk to five more. Soon, we'll be as numerous as the stars. Mary. Their parents were arrested by Saul. We'll keep them safe. You should think about leaving too, while Saul is off the streets. It's you he's after. People are coming to us all the time. What would they do if we weren't here to give shelter? I should go while I can. Take care, all of you. is coming to Jerusalem. I've had no warning either. His arrival is imminent. Why is he coming? I don't know. But if he finds fault in either of us, he will take action. He has no power over the temple. Caiaphas, he's the emperor. If he decides to strip us both of our positions, he will. If he decides to burn the temple to the ground with you inside it, he will. We stand or fall together on this. I expect your full support.
The violence on the streets has to cease. Rounding up the followers of the Nazarene is a Jewish matter. For the duration of the Emperor's visit, dear lady, it's very much a Roman one. You also expect us to help pay for his visit? I do. I can't use temple funds for anything other than God's work. You're the high priest! The arrests I can curtail. As for these extra funds, they can't come from the temple. But they could come from a private source. I'll send Cornelius to collect. We to lavish money on Tiberius. The man who expelled thousands of our people from their homes in Rome on a whim. How far will you go to keep Rome happy? We don't have the money. We don't? No. As I understood it, you'd banned me from this house. I had, but in discussion with your daughter, I felt compelled to offer the hand of reconciliation. This is for the good of us all. Your clumsy attempt to unseat me can be forgiven. 60,000 denarii? Are you insane? I'll be bankrupt. Is this money bound for Pilate? Or worse, Tiberius? It's bound for wherever I choose to send it. I know you have a special relationship with Rome, but don't presume that everyone is happy about it. Happiness comes at a price, Annas. This is yours. With the Emperor coming, households are taking on more staff. You told me it was too dangerous for us to stay in Jerusalem. And now you want to work for the Romans. Most of the city's food's been taken and to feed them. If I'm part of a household, I'll have access to the kitchens. I'm glad you're on our side. Hmm? Can I help you, friend? Kind face at last. My name is Yitzhak. Philip. Where have you come from, Philip? Jerusalem. Most people who come from Jerusalem avoid Samaritan cities. Too dangerous. They took your shoes. Uh, an appendant. Belonged to my mother. Meant a lot to me. Come to the marketplace. Wonders are about to be performed. The power of 
God himself, Simon, the sorcerer. Stop. Again. What do you want? What is that? Pilot demands that the arrest stop. Caiaphas agrees. Jerusalem, you know. At least not while the Emperor is here. Those with serving experience, raise your hands. You, here. Yeah. What does this mean? It means you're working in the governor's household. N no, I, hmm? I can't. You will work where you're told. Who else? <laughs> Philip! From Jerusalem? Jerusalem. Is Philip here? You're in need of my help. Though my gift is for all, let him pass. You have fallen into misfortune, and you have lost something of great personal value. Yes? Abandoned, given to me by my late mother. Uh -huh. It's no longer lost. <laughs> How much did you pay for this? Or do the robbers work for you? <clears throat> you see, not everyone is grateful for the gifts that I bring. You have no gift, no power from God, just cheap trickery. My father, he's not here. Who are you? I don't suppose I could trouble you for some water. Please.
If Peter is in Jerusalem, I will find him. If he stays there or comes here, it doesn't make a difference. He knows who I am. He knows what I'm capable of. My name is Saul. Expecting the worst. And smile. Emperor Tiberius, we are honored by your visit. I need a bath. My wife, Claudia, will take care of you for the duration of your stay. A bath. My uncle's always like this after a long journey. In Campania, he didn't speak for three days. Isn't that right, Caligula? Don't call me that, Agrippa. It's Gaius, Julius Caesar, Augustus Germanicus. Your father was a great Roman. Welcome to Jerusalem. You may not be so keen to welcome us when you find out why we're here. Saul so said he would find you. Did he hurt you? No. But he threatened you. He scared me. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. You shouldn't have come. Jerusalem is too dangerous. I had to warn you. We have to do something. No. I know. We have arranged a banquet for No tonight. banquets. But you have to eat. No banquets, no proclamations, no addresses, and no gifts. A simple meal, then. And when you wish to leave, I will show you back to your rooms. I'll see the Emperor to his rooms. Is there anything in particular you wish to see while you are here? Just you and anyone else who claims to be running this province. The Emperor has come to remove you. We must avoid dishonor by cultivating goodwill with his successor. I have the power of God. I can cure your mother. <coughs> her demons are strong. They keep her far from my reach. Have her carried back to my tent. Wait! Let me try. No, 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 let him pass. He thinks he can do what I can't.
Jesus, the Son of God, I release you from your prison. I take it you are happy with your rooms? If that possible? I was just telling these pups about the last time the Jews crossed you in Rome. Oh, as we did an experiment put to the sword, we conscripted and sent to the furthest limits of the Empire. That's how you deal with these people, with a firm hand. Do you have a firm hand? Do you still harbor ambitions, Pan? Show me an unambitious Roman, and I'll show you a dead one. And yet you struggle to control a minor province like Judea. There are unique problems here, Caesar. Managing the Sanhedrin, the temple, the priests. Priests in Syria. The governor has invading Parthians to contend with. With all due respect, anyone can wield a sword. Judea requires diplomacy intact. These are qualities I believe my husband has in abundance. Qualities that have led to a respect and esteem seldom seen in these situations. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Son Jesus Christ and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. It's not the first time there's been unrest in Jerusalem. What is it about this place? People are drawn here from all over. People of many faiths and beliefs. That's the energy you feel. That's what made me curious. You like it here? The best thing about this city is that it's one day's journey to our home on the coast. You are safe here. I'm the Emperor. I'm not safe anywhere. stoop to scaring children, but your persecution only makes the Holy Spirit burn stronger within us. All the more reason to put an end to you. You can't put an end to me, Saul. 
It's God's will I'm here, and it'll be God's will where and when I am to die. Perhaps it is God's will that I am here too. Yes? I'm sure we'll find out who is to live and who is to die soon enough! What? Wait! You're just going to talk to him? Peter! It's enough. No! No! We are not men of violence. But Peter, we finally got him! You'd have thought that God would have given you all a clearer vision. If in fact he was guiding you. Good to know you're still in Jerusalem, Peter. Do you feel any different? Give me your knife. Oh. All right. I've been baptized. I've been baptized. I'll heal it. Oh. Why? Why have I not been given the same power as Philip, eh? Can I bandage my hand now? I trust the condemned man ate a hearty breakfast. Did you rest well last night? Oh, yes. We did. Herod Antipas and Herodias. What are you doing here? The Emperor summoned me. We thought you would have paid us a visit on your way to Jerusalem, brother. He insisted, but I forced him to stay with a caravan. Herod, welcome to Judea. I thought I recognized you. You're a follower of the Nazarene. What are you doing here? Uh, I needed a job. To help your friends. They're here too. Everyone's gone. I'm on my own. You tell me why I shouldn't have you arrested right here, right now. Do what you have to do. You're not scared. I've been taught to love my enemies, to bless those who curse me. Don't let me see and hear the governor again. Understood. I believe I have handled the situation here as well as anyone could. How many Romans have been killed in this insurrection? Just one. And his killer has been caught and executed. How many zealots have been eliminated? Many. Some might say people were rounded up indiscriminately. I thought you'd have been happy, Antipas, having given over responsibility for Jesus to me. Jesus, the rebel, whom the high priest claimed was stirring up trouble for the temple, has been crucified. And his followers scattered. A small fanatic faction. A faction no longer. Thanks to me. What would you have done had you been ruling? Oh, I'd have been more decisive sooner. No offense to the governor. But I would have killed this movement at its birth and used the military might of Rome to annihilate any signs of rebellion. <laughs> Smash their bones and crush their skulls. Can I call someone to speak? Go ahead.
Emperor Tiberius. You call a Jew to plead for you? It may appear as if I'm here to plead for the governor, but we united to protect the people and the city from a contagion. Over the years, I believe Pilate and I have come to an understanding on how best to deal with these situations. You mean he executes rebels for you? when they're a threat to your status. And Jesus was a danger to us all. He stirred the people with lies and blasphemy. He wanted to tear down all institutions, all authority, including yours. He had to be stopped, and he was. You also had to preserve your holy of holies, am I right? Didn't the great General Pompey find his way into that chamber and say there was nothing there? We need no idols or images because we know he's there. Who? God. I've never met a Jewish god. Maybe I could pay him a visit. Keep your idiotic thoughts to yourself. It would take years, Caesar, for any new administration to reach the level of understanding the high priest and I have. If you need more... You may leave. Caesar, it would be helpful to know in which direction you intend to turn next. You'll be told. Caesar. and pleaded Pilate's cause! I had to. And what if, despite everything, the Emperor decides to replace Pilate? Where will that leave us? I don't know. I haven't risked my relationship with my family, for I don't know. You need to be certain this will fall our way! Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? What? We have a problem. Solve it! Solve it! It's Saul. Back arresting people. You're right about this place. It does have a kind of energy. The spirit, too. Gets inside. Changes you in some way. I saw four vultures on the coast road. Riding the air. My auger tells me not to worry. Vultures can be good omens. And yet, on the journey here, I dreamt of a funeral procession. This place gives you visions. Some of my dreams have come true. including one about the Nazarene Jesus. But I haven't dreamt about anyone dying tonight. Good night, Emperor. Last chance. Come with us while it's quiet. You know we can't. But we would be free. Free to preach and baptize again. If I go with you, I'll just drag Saul after you. And anyway, there's much to do here. Some of us have to stay in Jerusalem. Look after this one. I think she'll be the one looking after me. Goodbye, brother. Take care. You too. God be with you.
But what if it seems to Tiberius that I'm incapable of ruling without the help of my high priest? And with Antipas waiting to take advantage? Antipas is a self-serving viper. But he is necessary for maintaining order. But what he fails to realize is that if one of us falters, Tiberius could tear us all down. He's a tired old man who's starting to feel the shadows closing in. But he is still capable of expelling me from Judea. And what happens then? We can't go back to Rome, we'll be a laughingstock. Your record here is exemplary. I think Tiberius is starting to see for himself the unique problems that Jerusalem presents. We just have to hold our nerve. Saul. I need you to follow me. There's something you should hear. Tell these men what you told us earlier about Peter. Speak up, man, or I'll flay you again. Peter's gone. Where? He headed north. Where? Damascus. Damascus. Get him down. You've earned that. He took the bait. Tell a man what he's dying to hear, and they always will. You're becoming quite the politician. We'll all sleep better when we saw these for Damascus. Really? Your task is to make sure he doesn't bring his campaign of violence back to Jerusalem, not before Tiberius has left for Rome. And how exactly do I do that? You're going with him. We reach Ramadan before sunset. We should make Damascus in two days. So all that's over 70 miles away, and you want to do that in a day over open deserts and mountain tracks in the hottest month? It would appear our new recruits would be happier staying at home. <laughs> I'm not going to kill myself marching at that pace. We get word that Philip needs us. Somebody has to go to Samaria. So what do we do? We hide in a cellar. Simon, I feel the same way, but as long as Saul's out there. I know going to join Philip is dangerous, but I feel like a coward. Well. No, you don't need to. Saul's gone. He's left Jerusalem. We'll go to Samaria tonight, John. Mary? It's me, Joanna. What are you doing here? I'm with the House of Antipas, maid servant to Herodias. Are you working in the palace? We must be careful. None here share our faith. Is Peter here too? He's in the city, hiding safe. Yeah, I thought about you every day since Jesus cured us. I've tried to follow his word, but. I heard he was dead. <sighs> Joanna. Jesus isn't dead. Before they crucified him, he told us he would rise after three days. And he did. He's very much alive. It's true. He came to me first. I've sat with him, eaten with him. He is who he said he was. Yes, the Messiah. 
I was fond of Agrippa once, but now... Should I have him killed? No. Take Caligula back to Rome with you, and my husband will deal with Agrippa. Pilate is a good governor. You only have to see the trouble-free streets of Jerusalem to see you what it... You work hard to promote your husband. I'm sure he will benefit from your wisdom when I promote him to a position in Rome. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what pleases me more. The thought of spending more time in your company in Rome, or finally being able to... Is there something wrong? No. Just a chill, that's all. Do not underestimate Peter. He's a snake oil trader, but a good one. First, he tells the people that they have a problem. That they killed the man sent to them by God. Then he tells them that he has the answer. All they have to do is repent and throw themselves in the river. <laughs> Does he ever stop? I never saw a man with so much energy for the destruction of his enemies. And here we sit, now. The chosen few, whose work it is to stamp out this heresy before it spreads from Jerusalem and takes control of Syria, Lydda, Emmaus, and even Masada, before Peter the fisherman can sell the whole world his fake cure. you have lived if you had and done the same with a gripper or you could ignore them both and look forward to life in rome i've never come across such treacherous poisonous power hungry schemers what is it i'm looking forward to everything there being a lot less jewish aren't you what are you talking about claudia tiberius has offered you a position in Rome. At last, we can finally leave this place. All we have to do is play our part in keeping Agrippa and Caligula away from each other. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. John! It's so good to see you both. My friends, today we commit ourselves to Jesus, who these two men knew, and from him received the power of the Holy Spirit. How can we celebrate the Messiah when we dare not say his name? I'm scared. Don't be. Your faith will bring you strength when we pray together. Shh. Chusa! I wasn't expecting you back. This is my husband. And who is this? Mary. I only just started work here in the palace. But I know Joanna from... From the market. We used to see each other at the market. Didn't we agree you need to tell me about any 
new friends. My wife has come under some bad influences recently. I don't want it to happen again. Don't worry. I'll keep her from harm. Your husband doesn't know about your faith. He does. I agreed to hide it to protect us both. It was Antipas and Herodias that had John the Baptist beheaded. These are ruthless people we work for. Oh! 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 This place is madness. What if you don't find him? What if Peter is not even in Damascus? Can we march on to Antioch? Why are you even here? Huh? I'm here because I was ordered to be here by the same man we both answer to. Then you should be helping this mission, not slowing it down. Why do you hate Peter so much? Because his claims are ridiculous. Because the idea that God would use him as an instrument of his will to spread the word of a new messiah is, is ridiculous. How can people believe that the creator would choose a simple fisherman to articulate his message? No. No. He would choose a man in your world outside of a fishing village. Not a man who spreads lies about an imposter, Jesus, but a man who can add beauty and power and truth to his message. A man like... Persecute me. Who are you? I am Jesus, whom you persecute. No. 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 Ah! to Damascus. You'll be told what to do. I know some of you want to be back with your families. And I know Damascus is full of foreigners and the food is overpriced. But we came here with Saul and we know why we're here. The man who brought us is a remarkable man. Whatever happened to him in the desert, we can't give up. We must find Peter and his followers. I was deluded. I was deceiving people with my cheap trickery and I started to believe my own claims of greatness. And then Philip, he came to Samaria. He showed me the true path. He started talking about Jesus, and I believed. I was baptized.
We are not loved by the temple in Jerusalem, and neither are you. But, but together, we shall help to spread the word and the power of Jesus. They've heard all about the miracles you performed in Jerusalem. They hope to see more here in Samaria. My child is coming, Barnabas. I have to leave Damascus. What? I just saw Reuben, the right-hand man to High Priest Caiaphas, and Asher, one of Saul's men. Saul is in Damascus. You arrive here, and you fell our heads with the power of Jesus Christ the Savior, and now you cower at the first sign of danger. Ananias! Saul of Tarsus, who wants me dead, who wants us all dead, is here. And what am I supposed to do? Tell my wife, don't have our child yet. We have to leave the city. Stay. Stay. And we'll find strength together. Trust in Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit into your troubled limbs. He brings you eternal life. Have faith in Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. We pray that all our new believers receive the Holy Spirit. We enter God's kingdom by repentance and faith, by accepting him in our lives. When you return to Rome, this document says you'll be considered for the position of praetor to the treasury. Considered? And my seal on it says you will get the job. Caesar, I don't know how to show you my gratitude. By doing the job well. And by always listening to your wife's advice. It's official. Always listen to your wife. <laughs> I won't forget this! What are you talking about? Are you such a coward you have to go behind our backs? Been drinking again, have we? Tiberius is insisting I go with him to Rome. And Agrippa stays here. I know it is a result of your plotting. Believe me, when I'm not in your presence, I don't give you a moment's thought. He thinks he can break the bond between us. But he is wrong. Now, you make a very grave mistake if you think Tiberius will always protect you.
Anita! This, this is everything that I own. I want you to use it to help spread the word of Jesus. Now, all I want in return is just, you know, just a few drops of the Holy Spirit as a friend, as a fellow Jesus follower. I think God could be bought. You think this is just magic? Peter! Go! Go! Hold your anger! Go! Hey! Take back your words! Repent! If you value your life, repent now! He's a good man. I pray in the name of your son, Jesus, who died, that we might be saved. If it pleases you, let choose a discover the wisdom of Jesus. Ananias. Lord. <laughs> Go to the street called Straight. Ask for a man from Tarsus. His name is Saul. But I know the harm that this man has done to your people in Jerusalem. He is my chosen instrument. He will proclaim my name to the Gentiles and their kings and the people of Israel. Someone needs to go to Jerusalem and tell Caiaphas what's happening. 
And tell him what exactly? That his golden boy, his great weapon against the rise of these blasphemers, is sitting in the dark, starving himself to death. Perhaps I can help. I have a message for Saul of Tarsus. An important one. From whom? From someone who knows him well. Knows him better than anyone, I'd say. And you are? I am Ananias. Is he here? Where's Ananias? Is he here? I'm here. Oh. Oh. Save me from this. chosen you to know his will and to see the righteous one and to hear the words from his mouth. See again. <laughs> Separate me from Caligula and keep me in this place. But at least show me some respect. Do as I ask and punish these blasphemers. It's your duty. Make an example of them. Duty? Since when have you had any thoughts of duty? He's right. Though I do question his reasons, he has an interest in this woman. Chooser is my chief steward. You know the consequences of betrayal. Is it true? Is your wife a follower of the Nazarene they call Jesus? I heard you pray to him. Just give us the truth. The truth is that... The truth is that my wife, Joanna, ever since we were married, has had fits of madness. Since all the talk began of the Nazarene coming back to life after being crucified, she's... Well, she's been taken by the idea. And sometimes she imagines she's talking to him. My fear is that one day she'll slip into lunacy and not return. Your argument is that your wife isn't a follower of Jesus. She's just mad. And what do you say, woman? What are you, mad? It's true. I was once cured of demons. I do not allow prayers to that man in my household, even imagined ones. Control your wife. Enough. Let them go. What? That's all? It's good to have you back. I open my heart and I give my thanks to God for his forgiveness. What happened to you? In the desert. I saw him. I saw. I saw Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And he's here. <laughs> His presence is here on earth through those followers I persecuted. I felt so sure that I was right, but I, I was the one that was wrong. <laughs> All of us just wrong. 
I have to make amends. I have to. So I'm going to the river to be baptized by this man, Ananias. And I implore you, come with me. Feel God's love. Be baptized in the name of Jesus. What is it you are seeing? I see... Dad Pierce. I see him murdered in his bed. And I see him struggle as, as they hold a pillow over his face. The pillow is held by Caligula. Nonsense. It's your fanciful imaginings. I persecuted. They can find it in their hearts to forgive me. I'm not the same man you once had reason to hate. I was blind. And now I see. Barnabas. Saul wants to be baptized, to accept Jesus. How can we deny him that? Jesus has chosen you to proclaim his name to the world, to the Gentiles, their kings, and the sons of Israel. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. What? 
He said everything that we thought we knew was wrong. Who? Who did? Saul. He's become a follower of Jesus. This is a very bad idea. Tell him, Saul, you can't preach the word of Jesus inside the synagogue. That is exactly what we have to do. I understand that you're used to having the weight of the authorities behind you. If I've been chosen to proclaim his name, better I do today than tomorrow. Better this hour than the next. Better this moment. a few changes and a little imagination. Don't get ahead of yourselves. Tiberius hasn't made his decision yet. I made a good case for you as my successor. You never know what could happen. Enough of this. We have what we wanted. Let's just be grateful. I thought you left with the Emperor. Isn't that sweet? As one pair of vipers prepare to leave, another plans to move in. My friend! I knew they couldn't keep us apart! I bring news. Very grave news. Emperor Tiberius... ...is dead. It's shocking news. I was shocked. We must be thankful. I'm told he died peacefully in his bed. Were you looking forward to your new position in Rome? husband in this palace held a blade against my throat. He really wanted me dead. Can't that be left in the past? Yes, you're right. Let's stay with the present. So? Where is your respect? Kneel in the presence of your duke! 